I ran into some vintage jewelry. I had a lot more than this, so I don't know what happened. I know some of it I lost in the bakery. You know when you have your name tag and you put your Halloween or Christmas pin on. I had them on my hat too. At work. And I guess this is all I have left. I know I have more Halloween jewelry, earrings and stuff like that. I get as gifts too. My daughter bought me a whole bunch of earrings. So I just ran into these oldies. I'm, I feel bad that I'm missing quite a few vintage Halloween jewelry. It's earrings, kind of I think, vibe, real tiny, tiny pumpkin and ghosts. Like earrings and skeletons and stuff like detail. that. Try to find as much as I and can. Everything is just, uh, showing them to so you while I'm watching uh, you know, Jay the Leaper uh, on YouTube, which is Halloween hunting. I remember this one. Where he's wearing his kind of when I worked in the Victorian bakery. Victorian garb. But this one has the blousy shirt with the jacket. I need it. I need it, y'all. I need it. So I'm on the hunt for those pieces. A couple other pieces I'm on the hunt for, but I'm There's not Christmas counting ones on mixed finding up. them. First of all, I'm not counting on finding any of these this My year. Name tag. <laughs> I do a lot of hunting, but we have a lot of I don't know what job that was. Area, was, just, was and I already bakery. know they know it's popular. They're going to swoop these pieces up. I, I usually I like snowmen, don't so get my heart too set on it. So and if good. I find it, I get really excited. And then if not, then I look for it again next year. Really usually they're really popular pieces will be back next year. Hallmark had a, a lot of Halloween jewelry back in those days. My wish list. Now you can get well, it easy back, anywhere. Back on the hunt. Focus, Jane, focus. Okay, so Eber, we saw some stuff earrings. in the... I have some that like, says spooky on it. Holly, my daughter bought those for me. Table runners. I have a pair just like that that says spooky on it. Just like that. Where are they? I, I don't know. Sure. Lanterns, but when I find them, I'm going to make another video of a bunch of Halloween... And then they had some table runners. Pins. They had ones with jack o' lanterns. They had ones with spider webs. They had, a, um, they had one with those ear pins on it. that says spooky. They had and a tiara that says spooky. Maybe that's it. I'm they spooky. had a bunch of spooky table runners. And then they had in the ceramics area, they had some new mugs. They had a pastel pink spider web mug. It's also iridescent, I think. And then they had a Snoop, was there a new Snoopy mug or did we already see that one? And they had a couple Halloween ones that I feel like we saw last year. Maybe it was over the last couple of years. They look more vintagey. They have the stacked jack-o'-lanterns with the wig on. And then they've got another one that has a, I think just a jack-o'-lantern, a branchy trees and stuff. I don't know, but they had a bunch of different mugs. But some of them we had already seen. Oh, there was like a glass. It was like a glass mug that was purple with ghosties on it, or what was it, skulls? I don't know, I'm getting all confused now. My memory is shot today. Uh, and then they had some bowls, they had some Lilo and Stitch bowls, they had some little measuring cups with little bats all over it, it was black and white. They had a tray that had a skull on it, that's kind of Victorian looking. And then they had a couple of little blue sky pieces, some little cottage looking houses. And we did two of those. And then what else did we see in this area? Anything else I'm missing, I'll show here. And they had a couple of new blankets. They had a faux fur blanket that was white with purple cats. And then another purple one that was a purple checker with purple bats all over it. And they had a couple of new pillows too. They had a pillow that was like a Ouija planchette. They had one that was a poison bottle. And then I think there was one with ghosties on it. And was there one with jack o' lanterns on it? And then they had uh, a pink pillow with, I think, ghosties on it, and a pink candy corn pillow, and a bunch of stuff like that. So, a bunch of new pillows. But a lot of it was repeats from last year. I feel like a lot of it was the picked over stuff. I'm just gonna put that out there. It looked very picked over from the weekend. So, maybe they just haven't gotten all their stuff out, or they're rearranging shelves, or I don't know what's going on, but there it was kind of slim pickets as far as new stuff. So you went some, you looked some, but we saw a fully stocked Bath and Body Works, fully stocked Halloween, glorious spooky displays. The spooky displays at Bath and Body Works made my soul so happy. I love a good organized aesthetic looking display. It was beautiful. Anyways, I want to get this video out quickly. I'm not going to add this to any other days. Just because I want everyone to see the Bath and Body Works stuff, so if you're wanting to get your claws on it, 
you want to see what's out there and you can get your claws on it while it's not picked over. Anyways, thank you for hanging out here and Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, blue hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Anyways, let me know down in the comments how you feel about the Bath and Body Works line. Did you get anything from the line? What are your favorite pieces? What do you like? What do you not like? What do you hope for in the future? Let me know down in the comments what you think. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back on the hunt. Halloween release. And somehow every single year on the Halloween release, on the Monday, I get my nails done every time. Every year for the past like three, maybe four years, on the day of the Bath and Body Works release, I get my nails done. And I know this because I miss the opening every year. And I have to end up going after I get my nails done every single time. So not that it's a bad thing. I just, you know, I get the FOMO. I want to be there at opening. I want to see the whole spread. I want to see the perfection. I want to see the spooky displays. You know, I do. So anyways, I got my nails done. I got some new spooky nails. These are the most magical nails I may have ever gotten. They've got these bats, 3D bats with this mystical, magical, iridescent, I don't even know, magic, 3D, I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Whatever it is, it's magic. Per usual, whatever sorcery my nail tech works on my nails, it, she nails it, quite literally. So anyways, we're heading out to Bath and Body Works. 12:30, so hopefully we didn't miss out on the spooky good and we're gonna go to the bath and body works at the mall because i feel like people are probably more likely to wait in line or like you know wait outside in the parking lot at the standalone stores so i'm hoping i have better luck at finding a whole display at the mall store i'm not gonna lie i already got on their online release they had a members like if you have their app they had a like an exclusive, like an early access to app members or whatever. And I already ordered some of the stuff I was wanting from the early access. It hasn't arrived yet at my house. So I haven't seen any of this in the flesh, but I did see it online, like pictures of it. So this is my first time seeing any of the packaging, anything in the flesh. I'm so freaking excited. We are here at the mall. We're going into Bath and Body Works. Here we go. smell the pumpkin spice from here. Look at this spooky display. Dang. All the vampire blood. Look at this packaging. This is so beautiful. I love this. Look at this spider guy. I don't know if you can hear the spooky music it plays. That's the first pocket I pulled her. What is this guy? Do? I love this. I'm gonna have to get this. How do we feel about this packaging? Thoughts? All right, Mr. Skeleton, we saw all the spooky goods at Bath and Body Works. We saw all of it in all of its glory. Nothing was sold out that I could tell. Like all the displays were beautiful. Let's start where do you want to start? Let's start with we'll, we'll jab our jaws while we're on our way to Home Goods. Uh, we'll start with the vampire blood whole setup because the display was right there front and center right when you walk in and it was glorious. The spooky displays did not disappoint. I'm going to put that out there. This one they had all the vampire blood stuff. When I first saw the leaks of the Bath and Body Works packaging, it was all the cutesy three wick candles and the cutesy, what do you call them, soap dispenser things. But the actual packaging the majority of the packaging in my opinion is very feels like an all-year-round spooky packaging because it is kind of like a classier like it's got a lot of jewels and i feel like it gives this especially in the vampire blood line it gives very much a vampire vibe like i'm getting like luxurious rich vampire live in a castle kind of situation anyways they had a bunch of vampire blood stuff they had the body spray they had the body lotions the creams the uh fizzy their fizzy sparkly lotion stuff i don't know i tried it out i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and it was actually really cool they had a soap holder that was this kind of silicone seal 
and it has skulls at the bottom, this big spider that kind of wraps around. That one was really cool, and it placed the first candle, like three wick candle holder in this area, and it was kind of like the carriage last year, if you remember that one, but this one's a hearse, and it has the skeleton driver. They also had the little hearse pocket back holder that played music. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the music. Oh, that's a parking spot, right? Freaking there, y'all. Our Krakens, or I don't know what's going on this year with that house theme. If you want my honest opinion about it, I have to give my opinion about it. I'm not the craziest about.